in one day. Listen to me. I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm only gonna give one minute for everybody to come in, and I'm finna go in. I don't have all night. I got court out of town in the morning, and I'm gonna go out before I go to court. I'm gonna burn the candle at both ends. This is kind of shit I do. One time I took a, one time I was drinking E and J. Me and Will, we were drinking E and J at two o'clock in the morning, and we had a final exam at nine o'clock in the morning. That's what kind of brothers we are. We don't always do the right thing, but sometimes we do. So uh, don't try to blame it on me. And then I had a woman tell me, oh, you go to strip clubs. I can't believe you'll go to a strip club. That's not the time. Motherfucker, I didn't tell y'all I was no perfect little angel. People be trying to put me on a pedestal like I don't, I'm just the cleanest man ever. I don't do nothing. Go to a little strip club every now and then. I heard one of them say, I can't believe you drink alcohol. We in here tonight. But what the hell you want me to drink? I can't do nothing. They done got me. I don't know how I got. I don't know why they put me on the pedestal. Do I go around acting uppity? Mm -mm. Oh, you no <laughs> what, 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 what I act uppity then? Oh, uh, you think you look better than me. I know I look good. Your beard better than look, at, look, at, look at my beard. Come on, Sean. Let's have a come bring the black ass up here. Look, look at my look at my lips. Oh god. Oh, god. Can't turn into that. Look at my melanin. I'm out of here. Look at my beard. Nigga been trying to get his beard like mine for years. Now man. bring this old Callahan bump old country bumpkin up here. Go ahead. He been trying to get his beard like mine for years, y'all. I can whoop his ass. Who look the best? That's gay. That ain't how you supposed to say it. You supposed to say, women, which would y'all prefer? Women. And if it's any men on, if it's any men on here making a judgment, get your ass off. Hmm. This ain't the page for you. We do not accept gender fluidity. We don't even tolerate it. Sorry. Okay, BPM for life. Let's go to work. Bam, bam. I just came on talking that little trash to let everybody get in. But Sherm know who the man is around here. Because first of all, Sherm sure think he's a silverback and he only weigh 200 pounds. How you gonna be a silverback and you don't even weigh 250? You ain't no silverback. You an anorexic brother trying to get big, okay? Here we go. Now we came here to talk about Kamala. All right, everybody ready? You ready? We got RBG Zeke, February 9th. He gonna get me a belt. Keyword, me. Because Zeke finna knock this dude out. And I can't wait to get my hands on this belt. <laughs> sure, it's not going to be my belt. I don't have to risk my health. I'm not going to be the one doing the work. But I'm going to be the one posting it, showing off with it. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Orlando, Florida, get ready. RBG Zeke is coming back. This other guy is from Orlando. But he's from Metro West, somewhere out yonder. This Malibu, Mercy Drive, Ivy Lane, Richmond Heights. Stand up. Woo! Who else we got in here? We got Sherm straight out of Callahan with his dad. Uh, still living with dementia. Go follow that page. Pops off the chain. We got Sadiq. Yo. He's a squid. Ain't no crying. No crying. He'll fix anything you can break. And we got Tail. He'll break anything. He'll kick anything you can break. And he'll break it again. <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah. Kamala Harris. I was just strolling through Facebook this morning. I knew this was going to be a controversial day, but I thought I was going to spend the day having to explain to people why Dr. Martin Luther King is not a black hero. That's what I thought the battle was going to be. But Urugu, Black Lives Matter, George Soros, and the elites, they threw us another little uh, unexpected thing. They decided to announce today that Kamala Harris would be running for president of the United States of America. This is an allegedly black woman. Keyword, allegedly. Keyword, black. Keyword, woman. Now, I'm sure she's a woman. All the other stuff I can't verify. Y'all ready? I told my wife, I said, this looks... Let me tell you what I told my wife this morning before I'd done any research. I said, Melanie, they're going to hate me when I give my analysis on this. He said, here you go being controversial again. 
I said, but I really got something to say. She said, well, what do you got to say? I said, well, this seems like a recast of Barack Obama by the liberal elite to get the blacks back on the Democratic plantation. She said, well, how do you know that? You ain't even researched the woman yet. I said, well, I would bet you before doing research that she's big on being pro-immigration, she's big on being pro-LGBT, and she's not black specific. And, whoa, I said, this is one step further. I said, it's going to be even harder to stop this one because not only is she black, these are air quotes. Mm -hmm. Not only is she, come on, man, do it with me. Everybody do it with me. Black, she's a woman. <laughs> now, how can you go against the first black woman president of America? Ooh, they, they, they smart. Them liberals smart, right? Mm -hmm. They ain't that fucking smart. I said, I can see this. She said, well, you can't go say this stuff until you do your research. So I spent the whole day researching. I started pulling her up online, reading her policy positions. I started listening to her public speeches, how she declared her candidacy. But my research was over in one minute because as soon as I picked up a video, Sadiq walked in now. Sadiq said, that's a white woman. I said, huh? He said, that's a white woman. She's not black. I said, how you going to say that? He said, look at her nose. Look at her lips. I said, well, look at her hair. He said, that's not a black woman. I said, oh. He said, this a setup. If I was at BPMI, I'd say write that down. A setup. They going to run the same play. Motherfuckers going to run the same play. Different running back. <laughs> or different quarterback. Gonna fall for the same play twice? Not I. Now, this is how I know it's the same play. Because in this last election, you had the blacks, you had the conscious community saying, We're not with the Democrats, we're not with the Republicans, the Independents, we're not with nobody that's not gonna give us specific black agenda. And we set our ass at home. And that cost the Democrats everything. They said you came out so hard for Barack Obama. You came out in record numbers for Barack Obama. You didn't do shit for Hillary. Because the conscious community was, we was branching out. We was making an impact. We weren't going for the old Europa dope. We weren't like Foreman when he went against Ali over there in Africa. We weren't going for the Europa dope. We said, nah, if you're not black for specific, we'll sit home. And we did it. And that cost them everything, right? But this is my question. If we showed you then that we're not going for nobody that's pushing LGBT up above us, we're not going for nobody who's pushing immigrant above us, we're not going for it no more, why do you think you can go get a female version of Barack Obama and get us back on the plantation? Why, why, why do you think we're that dumb? If we just showed you we're not going for it no more. You see what I'm saying? We're not that stupid, George Soros. Right? We done, we done showed you we're not that dumb anymore. You can't just give us a good ass speech. I have a dream that the black boys will be over there with the white girls. What kind of fucking dream is that? <laughs> we'll be joining hands and that sounds like a nightmare to me. All right. Okay, okay. So we're not falling for that, but you thought you could throw a little, you thought you could throw a little, I'm going to get to this. You say, if we already did the black mulatto, the first black mulatto man president, and that worked well. They came out in record numbers. So now we'll do the first black woman president. But you don't think we smart no more? We done got a little smarter. Now let me stop with my emotions and let me just go down the list here so I can make sure I give you everything I got because this is just an initial analysis. But I'm going to play this back after this election is over. And I, I honestly believe everything I'm going to say is right. This is a junior senator out of, Cal out of California. Barack Obama was a junior senator out of Illinois. A junior senator, meaning they don't have the longevity. They're the youngest person. They, they're the under senator. See any connection there? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. State attorney. So she's an attorney. What about Obama was an attorney? Professor, attorney, law degree. Man, you think I'm going to fall for this? If I fall for this, I ought to be pistol whooped for 40 minutes. Like Plyce, that wasn't Plyce, that was Boosie. 
Let me say you pistol with somebody for 40 minutes. <laughs> if, if I fall for this, you ought to pistol with me for 40 minutes. <laughs> All right. She made her candidacy announcement on Martin Luther King Day. Let's go into that. Let me hit you with a bop bop. Martin Luther King, integration. Martin Luther King, submissive. Martin Luther King, turn the other cheek. Martin Luther King, be a part of the American dream. Martin Luther King, don't see color. We will no longer be judged by the color of our skin. That's right, because we're going to get a candidate that's half Indian, half black, raised in Canada, got a white man. You won't be able to tell nothing about the color then. What the hell are you going to call her? A white Indian Jewish woman, female attorney, Democrat, California? What you going to call her? We all, I don't even know what boat to put her in. She married to a Jewish white man. At least Obama had the guts to marry a black woman with big hips. Damn. Michelle, don't take what I'm saying personal. We okay with you. Your husband is the bitch. I mean, the um, not the good person. He's the problem, okay? So, she got announced this on Martin King Day. And she want to get all the symbology. We shall overcome. Oh, hey. We're not on that no more. Bunch of we're not that stupid no more. We want our own. We don't want to ride on the front of your own bus. We on our own bus system. They think we, I can't believe they think we this stupid. Right? You got me. You got me twice with Obama. I voted for Obama. I campaigned for Obama. I got record numbers of signatures registered to vote for Obama. You think we finna do this again? When he got up there and did everything for the gays, I'm about to break my awards. Black Hell man, no. Black man walking. Two and oh. But we two and oh. They say I can't even go in the jury store <laughs> with my hoodie on. Okay. Let me get back to what I'm working on here. So no, just because you announced it on Martin Luther King Day, we're not going for that. We passed Martin Luther King. We Dr. Khaled Muhammad. We Dr. Claude Anderson. Go, go talk to Dr. Claude. Let's see what Dr. Claude got to say. Okay? Nah, this is the thing that got me. I was reading the thing, and I said, the first black woman, this is going to be hard to beat. But she was, her mama is an Indian. We're going to get into this now. I'm going to go ahead and say all this shit right now, and I'm not going to back down from nobody. Mama is an Indian from India. Daddy is a black man from America, but he looks like a mulatto. I didn't think, I couldn't find the answer to that. But her mom's an Indian. I'm talking about a straight up Indian. Her mama and dad divorced when she was a little girl, I think five, six, or seven. Her mama took her and her sister out the country to Canada. And she was raised being half Indian and half black. What you mean, Big Awesome? She was going to church and she was going to Hindu temple. She wasn't steeped in our culture. Her mom was an Indian. I'm not talking about like uh, a Native American. I'm talking about an Indian over from India. Right? That's who raised her. Well, what a coincidence. Barack Obama's mom was white. And he was raised in Hawaii and Kansas. This is plagiarism. <laughs> the, Democratic Party, the Democratic Party ought to be accused of plagiarism here. Barack Obama wasn't raised in the south side of Chicago, how they try to, try to convince us. He was raised in uh, Hawaii and Kansas by his white grandparents. Well, she was raised in Canada by her Indian mom. So now we just gonna transfer her into black because she went to Howard? <laughs> Everybody gonna hate me, but I got enough AKs to survive. Everybody ready? Let's move on. She not, okay. You can call her black. You can call her black if you want to, but that's gonna lead me to a point I was gonna hit later, but I'm gonna hit it now. When I found out about her, I just went to YouTube, I put in her name, I started listening to everything I could hear about her. So I'm going to get a feel for her. What she say? What she say? What she say? What she say? Let me hear what she say. I heard by LGBT because she said that inmates, if they're transitioning from male to woman, if they're transitioning, they should be able to get their surgeries in jail. She said she support the DREAM Act. She want the immigrants. She said she support the sanctuary cities. I was listening. I was listening. I, I was waiting on the blacks. So somebody said the blacks didn't come out in the last election 
that they're supposed to. How you gonna get them out this time? You know what this motherfucker said? <laughs> Y'all will know. Yeah. She said, well, with all voters, <laughs> you got to go out and, and, and knock on the door. All voters, they just asked you about the blacks. So even when the white news reporter asks you about the blacks, you still won't talk about us. But you will talk about the LGBT. You will talk about the immigrants. You will talk about the Dream Act. You will talk about the sanctuary cities. But even when the white reporter say, what about the blacks? You say, well, with all voters. That's the Obama trick. They said, Obama, what you going to do for the black community? Well, I'm not running for president of the black community. <laughs> I'm running for president of all. Oh, okay, that means black people like that. Y'all want me to translate this for y'all because I'm bilingual. Yeah. I speak black. I speak black ghetto. And I, sp that shit. And I speak uh, punk ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you the translation from punk ass. When you ask them about black and they say, well, oh, that means your black people ain't getting shit from me. Now you take that to the bank and cash it. That's what it means, because that's what Obama did. The, the gays can get married. The, the boys can go to the girls' room, and the girls can go to the boys' room. The Hispanics can get in. They can get sanctuary. We got the dream man. What about the blacks? I'm not the president of blacks. I'm of all. Well, what that mean? Garbage. <laughs> hey, you fall for it, you're a damn dummy. I'm telling you right now, I'm against... Hey, it's not like I'm just against her, because I'm not telling you to be a Republican. Fuck no, I don't like Donald Trump. He's an open white supremacist. But I'm not finna fall for the magic mulatto. That's what irritated Jeannie called him. I'm not falling for the magical mulatto. I'm halfway through my list and we only 16 minutes in. This is the best ever. Parents divorce, I already got that one. But hey, hey, hey. Now I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> but she was dating her old nigga. <laughs> She went to Cali. She was out in Cali now. This one thing that stuck out to me. I'm sorry if I offend anybody. What you got there, Zeke? Glock. Glock. Glocky? What you got, Sadiq? You got anything back there? I got a couple of things right there. Okay. Just, yeah, just to let y'all know, I'm not afraid. Mossberg, Glock, Glocky. <laughs> she went to California. This is where she was a prosecutor. She was dating a, sick, a man 30 years older than her. Willie Brown, a coon. And he opened up a lot of doors for her. You listen to me. I was cheering for Deontay, Deontay Wilder because he was fighting against Tyson Fury. They said, Vern, well, Deontay left his black woman when he got this light-skinned, half mulatto, Filipino, what you got to say about that? Well, what about her? She was dating this old black-ass coon, and he introduced her to all the politicians and things, and then she left him for a white Jewish man. Oh, y'all don't want to talk about that. How in the hell are you a prosecutor? Uh, you would be attractive to someone who goes for the European look. And you get you an old ass black man that's politically connected and date him for a few years and you get all this connection. You leave him for a white Jewish man. Y'all got a problem with that? Well, Kanye left his black woman for uh, Armour Rose. Everybody got mad. But she can date this old ass black. It sound like a gold digger. But don't y'all go put me on the post saying she's a gold digger. Just go put me on the post saying she's a gold digger. Because I don't care. But when you date Willie Brown, old ass, that thing I know, you dating a young ass white man, feel like you just used the old ass black man to get connected so you can be a more effective bad. <clears throat> Last time I used the bad W word. <laughs> Everybody was cussing me out. I, I ain't never been so beat down in my life. I had people calling my phone. They were, I had people who didn't have my phone number calling me through Facebook. We, we're not allowed to say base. I'm, let me see if I find a word that rhyme with it. I ain't going to say bed winch. I'm going to say head tench. Fuck it. Bed winch. <laughs> okay. I ain't going to say bed winch. I'm going to say bed winch. Y'all don't like it? Well, tell Kamala Harris that it seems like, it seems like Tariq Nasheed said suspected white supremacist. She's a suspected bad. No, she's a confirmed bad one. She married a white guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I don't got to beat around the bush. Y'all got it. I supposed to pitch it. Now, if these Hebrew Israelites come back and try to say this guy black, I'm going to kick all their ass. Because they want everybody to be black so they can go marry their white women. But I ain't going for it. Y'all ready? Let's move on. All right. I found this out online. In California, there was men. And and, and, and these men were being tricked by transgenders. Everybody going to get mad about this, but... I just bought some new, uh, I bought a new AK. Go get the other AK. Sydney, bring a new one in here. Uh, the men, were, they, they, they had the transgenders that were tricking the men. I remember Lil Duval made a statement about this. They wanted to kill him. So there was a thing called the gay panic defense. Where the men would say, these transgenders get you in there and they trick you and you never knew. And you panic and you bust their ass in the motherfucking mouth. Because you didn't know they was really a man. Well, Kamala Harris went on a, a crusade to say you can't use that as a defense to your assault or nothing. If they trick you, you just deal with it. Now, I agree with her. They shouldn't be able to trick you because you shouldn't be sleeping with nobody but your wife. Hey, I'm the only one that put that out there. Hey, say hotel. hotel. Okay. But you make a loan. You push hard to make sure that if, even if transgender lie to somebody, if the transgenders lie and they get you, they trick you to do some things, and then you find out they, 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 they didn't, they're not really a woman. And if you do something to them, your ass is grass. This is the kind of stuff she was fighting for. And I'm not saying that you ought to go beat up transgenders. That I'm not advocating violence against anyone. I'm just saying that this is what she was fighting for. Everybody ready? Let's move on. I already got a husband. I already got the Dream Act, Sanctuary Cities. We moving on. That. This woman went over there and said that the liberals. Now I'm I'm not a liberal. I can't stand liberals. But she went on and made a statement talking about the left needs to get over their bias against law enforcement. If I, if I had um now you see Malika here, other words known as Britain, I tell her to have a seat right now. She said the left needs to get over their bias against law enforcement. Right? Mm -hmm. So we just perceive them as worse than they are. But I didn't hear her say that the law enforcement need to get over their bias against us. Because they hate us. Why she ain't talking about that? Because she's a prosecutor. Hey, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody, like to read the seeds, say with crispy. Everybody, law. A, a prosecutor is a police officer in the courtroom. The police lock you up, and the prosecutor makes sure you don't get out. It's the same thing. Okay, have I got that? So that's one of her statements. I got the transitioning inmates. Now, this is what I want y'all to realize. Everybody, ready for this? Let me give y'all another point of view on this. I'm only at 23 minutes. I'm gonna finish this off. I'm going to be through this because I don't hit half of this already. Well, yeah, we gotta start. This is an attack. Listen to me now. This is a well-orchestrated, well-calculated attack from many angles. This attack is formulated to do a couple of things. It's going to turn the black woman against the black man even further. Because some of our sisters are going to want to support her. her I said whore. <laughs> her. Her. I didn't mean to say whore. Don't y'all try to say I meant to say that. Her. I done had a few drinks. Some of our sisters are going to want to support, support. See, I said support. Yeah. Support her. Check because she's a woman. Y'all got that? Now hold that right there. Now if a man like me come offering some analysis, they're going to say you misogynistic. You just going against her because she's a woman, Right? Now we got an exasperation, and that's the key. I know that word, right? An exasperation of the gender war that's going on between us already, right? They smart now. I didn't say they was dumb. I didn't say George Soros was stupid. They very smart. They gave us NWA and got us to call each other niggas and bitches. If they smart enough to do that, you know they're not dumb. So that's going to bring the gender thing into it. Y'all ready? Now, they're going to bring the classism thing in it. Because guess what? 
black people. Now, I'm going to talk to y'all. Now, listen to me. I can speak as a double agent. I can be like a double agent on this. Because guess what? I'm an attorney. I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. I have two degrees. I, I, I live in a, 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 a upper middle class neighborhood. But I'm from the ghetto. I come from food stamps. Not the card food stamps. The paper food stamps. Right? I come from whenever they're going to cut off the lights, the water going to be off too. So fill you up some jugs and fill up the bathtub so you can wash yourself. I come from the other side. So I can tell you that they are purposefully using this woman out of Howard University. Right? That's the Boulay Black Capital of America. Howard University, she's a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. The most boule elitist sorority you can... There's no more above them to be elitist. This is going to be a class war. Because they are thinking that we're still stupid enough to follow Roland Martin, uh, Don Lemon, this woman, and the boule. I'm telling you from the inside out. I joined Alpha thinking that this was going to be a organization to impact the community because Martin Luther King. I joined Alpha because Martin Luther King and Third Good. I didn't know Third Good was a government informant and Martin Luther King was the worst integrationist ever uh, and a pacifist and a little punk. I'm telling you from the inside out, they are going to use this to do classism. They think we still going to follow the boule. This is the most... When she did a little speech, she did it at Howard. And guess what she had? She had an Alpha and an AKA. Is that what she had, to be? Oh, yeah. Did she have the other ones or just those two? Just those two. The two that you don't want to mess with. I'm telling you, as an Alpha, listen, I got my jacket right there. It's the most elite of shit you can be fucked up with. I don't even tell nobody I'm an Alpha. Unless I can get some more money for BPM, I'll use it like that. But I'm just giving you the... I'm giving you the facts. I went to a big white school and I know big white people and big black people. This is an elitist. It's going to be a gender war and an elitist war. Right? Can't get no worse than this. Yes, it can because she's also the king, the queen of LGBTQ. Right? She supported the gay marriage. She supports everything that LGBT wants. She got the highest rating you can get. Can't get no worse than that, can you? I bet you it can, because she's pro-abortion. I don't talk to y'all about Margaret Sanger before. She got a 100% rating from the abortionist. Planned Parenthood. Now, anybody who knows Margaret Sanger and the history of abortion in this country, who they want to kill? White babies or black babies? Black babies. Hmm. Where they built them abortion clinics at? Black neighborhoods or white ones? Black women. Hmm. Who they did the forced sterilization on? Black women or white women? Black women. Hmm. So how do you get a 100% rating from them? This the worst person in the world. Everybody going to say, Brian, you always doing hyperbole. Well, I'm from the ghetto. I used to think it was hyperbole. It's hyperbole. But these are facts. She got a grade A rating from the abortionists and the LGBTQ. Anybody who got a grade A rating from the abortionist and the L... Hey, make this a rule. Because they'll say, Vern, five years ago, you said this. You still stand by that. I stand by this five years from now. Anybody who got a grade A rating from the abortionist and the LGBTQ, I'm not voting for them. Is that, am I a bad person for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on down. I'm almost out of here now. Okay. I want everybody to have that. You know who she got a grade F rating from? The NRA. That's okay. You say, well, they racist. They don't matter. But she want gun control. And when they say gun control, you know what they mean by gun control? Take black people guns. Hmm. That's all they mean. When the Panthers had their guns walking around California, they did gun control. They didn't want to take the white people guns. They want to take the black Panthers guns in California. Repeat after me. California. California. Where she was a senator from? California. California. <laughs> All right. I'm moving on down. I'm just about out of here. 
She spoke out the women's march. That was a white feminist thing. She's still falling for that. She's a dumbass. Back by the California Democratic Party, because my wife, I tell my wife, I said, if that's the Democratic establishment candidate, I know not to vote for her. She said, how do you know who she back? I said, I don't, I don't know who back her right now. I got to go research. Well, I done my research. She is. Poor abortion, already hit that. 100% rating by Planned Parenthood. I meant to say that. 100%. Damn, I don't get 100%. I don't even get 100% rating by BPM. <laughs> That means she want to kill every black baby she can get her hands on. A hundred percent rating by Planned Parenthood? That means you're doing late-term abortion. That means the baby already formed. The baby already reached viability. The baby already got a heartbeat. The baby already got a body. And you support. Let me tell y'all what late-term abortion is. Everybody ready? I don't want y'all throwing up like your Rugu when Zeke hit him earlier today. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what late-term abortion is. Late-term abortion means the baby could live outside the womb, but you're going to have a, a doctor, if that's what you call it, stick steel clamps and tools up in the woman's womb, grab the baby by the base of his neck, right by the base of his claw, snap his neck and kill him. You hear me? I, start, I studied this now. This is what late-term abortion is. Snap his damn neck. Get a vacuum. And suck him out piece by piece. We done broke his neck and killed him. We gonna suck out his head, his legs, his torso, his arm, his spine. We gonna suck him out piece by motherfucking piece. We gonna put him in a jar. And then we gonna sell him to the highest bidder. And he's going to be mostly black babies. You know how I know? Because my sister, Monica Fatila, she goes down and she protests with the Christians at the abortion clinics. And she told me, it's an eyewitness account, that the young black girls go in there and they plead with them not to go. And it's, but some of them still go. They get some of them not to go in. But the ones that come out, they come out so traumatized. You hear me? They come out so hurt. They come out so broken that they have to hold them up and, and, and hug them before they won't collapse on the ground. Because what they go through when they go in there and they have their baby neck broke and sucked out piece by piece. Now, if you got a 100% rating by the goddamn... And that's the only time that word ever been so accurate. That's a goddamn organization. You got to be sick, Planned Parenthood. Okay? She got control. Okay, we got it. She didn't want to respond directly to the blacks. Dumbass Democrats. I say, I don't know if they think we that dumb. I'm all the way down to my last two points. Now, here we go. This is my question for you. If y'all want to call her the first black woman president, you can do it. Do it then. That's what I say when everybody said that anybody said they're going to do something to me. Do it then. If you want to call her the first black president, let me ask you a question. Her dad didn't see fit to marry a black woman. In California, there's plenty of black women at it. Mm -hmm. I ain't never been, but I saw some pictures. Her daddy didn't see fit to marry a black woman. She didn't see fit to marry a black man. Does it run in the family? But this is your first black female president. Well, here goes my closing argument. Uh, good thing she announced on Martin Luther King Day. She's an integrationist. I have not heard her say anything about independent black schools, independent black businesses. I ain't definitely heard nothing say about black sovereignty or black uh, reparations. I haven't even heard her say the word black. From what I can see here, this is a um, commercial, uh, cookie-cut liberal, even worse than Barack Obama, designed and deployed upon us to get us back on the plantation. The Democratic plantation, that is. And this is a good one. I got to admit, this is a good one. Because they say, 
We already did a black man. Now we're going to come with a black woman. But she's not black. And anybody who has a problem with that, inbox me. We can talk about it. I have I have the book. <laughs> okay. You know, her policy positions are not black. Right? I haven't heard her say the word black. She's a she's a she's a uh, prosecutor. Uh, I don't think she prosecuted any other cops in California that shot the black people. Go research that. Oscar Grant, they, Ezekiel, they had a lot of people get killed there. I don't know. I don't remember her prosecuting one of them. And uh, so check this out. This is my one day analysis. I had one day to study when I heard this shit. I said this sounds like an old playbook. Now, I have chances to go on and listen to more speeches and do more research, but this is my initial analysis. Now, do me a favor. When the campaign goes along, go back and look at this video. I'm going I'm to put this on YouTube tonight because I believe I'm true and I believe I'm right. And I saw the picture of her and her husband. And as this goes along, hey, my wife's talking about, well, Vern, who are we going to vote for then? We either gonna vote for an independent or we're gonna form our own party. I'd rather sit my ass at home than go put Obama in office again. You gonna vote Republican? Hell no, I ain't voting for Donald Trump. Okay? So, this is the playbook. That's the playbook. This this is what I'm giving you now. And if somebody comes along with a better analysis than me, then you go with that. But right now, you look at her. I'm gonna close out with this. I was watching one video. And Sadiq walked in and said, hey, that's a white woman up there. I said, no, that's the first black female president. Sadiq said, this is a setup. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Let's close on on that. A setup. Be pimp polite. Hey, if y'all got any questions, I'll answer them. I'm going to let the boys go. I'm going to answer questions for like five or ten minutes. If y'all got any questions now, I'll answer them. I, I couldn't I couldn't look at all the comments the whole time I was talking because I had to get through the points. They'd be ready to start fighting me if I don't. They said I might need a block block it. It's it's hot. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. They say if Kamala Harris is elected president, she'll legalize pedophilia. I agree with that because LGBTQ and pedophilia go hand in hand. Google pedo, pederasty or pederasty, however you want to say it. They go hand in hand. I agree with that. They won't, She's not going to do anything for black people. She won't even mention black people. Ennoblion. I hope I said that right. I agree with Ennoblion. She won't even talk about us. You think she related to the royal families? She might possibly be, but she doesn't have to be to be in concert with them. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't know if that British mulatto, they got that boy, girl over there in Britain. I don't think she was related, but she in, you know? So I don't think she has to be. Now, I know her husband tied up in that somewhere. I know that for a fact. You ain't got to, you ain't got to, just no, she wasn't elected. She wasn't selected by accident. Who said she got legalized? Who, who said? She's pro-LGBTQ staunch. They go hand in hand. If you go see the homosexual agenda and the pedophilia agenda, they go hand in hand. That's a, do a little research. Do Pizzagate. Go watch Irritated Jenny when you talk about Pizzagate. The real Supreme Court is in pizza. Uh, oh, God. I hope it's not a more. You just talking? Uh, no, I, 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 I probably don't. She's sleeping with the enemy. We, we know her husband is not a, one of us. Okay. Um, Big Wheel, I don't have time to go live right now. I just want to take a few questions and then I got to go because I'm actually going to, I got to head out for a little minute to turn up. Nation builders do turn up sometimes. They're trying to pass more gun laws to lower our gun. That's a fact. She's very pro-gun control. Okay, good. Thank God. He said I'm not a more because I wasn't finna deal with all that shit. I see. I'm gonna check. Okay, yeah. Go, go, go. Google irritated genie pizza gate. <laughs> Y'all watch that. Y'all see what I'm saying? Okay. 
I think any more black people in Congress help in some way or form black people as a whole. That's a lie. The black people in Congress don't do shit. And if they don't have a black interest, and the, the black congressional black caucus, they're not even black. Do you believe we can stop the homosexual agenda? Hell yeah. I know how to stop it. I wrote a whole book on it. Go um get, well, first of all, you got to go get this book to understand the agenda and the roots and the history of it. Right? And Lama Baruti, uh, Homosexuality and the Effeminization of African Males. Then you got to get Irritated Genie's book. I got it on my shelf over here. I may not be able to locate it. I got a whole bunch of books. But then when you get ready to just go start training up these black males to be warriors instead of uh, skinny jeans wearers, I got the guide book right here. The Blueprint for Black Youth Empowerment. You read this? I'm going to show you how. I know how to build warriors now. I'm proving that. I got a warrior now going to fight for the light heavyweight title, right? Mixed martial arts. Uh, they we, my boys are lords of the black woman. I know how to stop that. It, uh, socialization is a large part of it. So, uh, yeah, get this book. The Blueprint for Black Youth Empowerment is available on Amazon. Only like $10. And then uh, I got another one, nothing to show for it on Amazon, only like $10. I know how to do that. Let me see if I missed anything while, while I was showing y'all that. More diversity means more understanding. Okay. Black P-cert. More diversity means more oppression and more degradation, exploitation, and everything negative for black people. You need to do more reading. And I suggest you start <laughs> with Dr. Chancellor Williams. Uh, the destruction of black civilization. Diversity is a hideous subterfuge. <laughs> and it's nothing we should be supporting. When does the national gun carry law get passed? I don't fucking know. You seen the Zion Prince doc? No, no I haven't seen that. I, I heard that um, Killer Mike just did some punk ass documentary, but I haven't even seen that. So I'm behind. I gotta go watch that. I'm in Cali. She's been tough on guns and minorities since the beginning. I believe you. Okay. Declaration of penitentiary must overthrow the government and not uphold the law. I bet you the people. The answer, this is one answer against their terrorism. Now, that's the unk life. And the unk life wants this whole government. Y'all go talk to him about that because the unk life is very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay shows black people with guns okay I need that trying to buy them books ASAP just go on Amazon blueprint for black youth empowerment nothing to show for it. Sammy Davis Jr. was Cuban and they don't mention that okay I don't know the significance of that I'm trying to end black on black violence in LA bro I welcome dialogue and help the only way you're going to end it is you're going to have to get the youth before they turn 11 if you let a youth turn 12 or 13 and they're already immersed in the game culture, it's harder and harder to get them. You got to start young. You got to be consistent. You got yeah, Just get the blueprint. I'm about to give you the whole book. Just get this book. Who said that? Black Peace Search. Just get the book. I put it all in there. I'm in Duval County. We just as, hey, we could, we just as bad as y'all. I know how to fix it. I'm not being arrogant. I'm just saying I'm 10 years into this. It's only one way. Conferences, commercials, big brothers, big sisters, more police. None of that's going to fix it. We need our families back intact. And until we get that, we need black men that's going to take on extra youth on the day when that's not even their kid. That's not going to molest these boys and that's not going to molest their moms. <laughs> okay, let's get the book. All right, let's move on. Calling the word is... Defiantly sell out getting oh Connor is a punk bitch. I slap him the taste out of his mouth whenever I feel like it. And if he ever comes to Jacksonville, I slap the taste out of his mouth whenever I feel like it. He can't fight and he's not black. And tell him I said it. And I've tagged him in posts. 
and the Black Guns Matter guy, Maj Ture, is just as bad. They're all in the same boat. And I slap either one of them in the mouth whenever I feel like it. Okay, I've seen backroom arguments that prevented potential racist policies just prevented to have someone on the board that's the what it means to be black and to know how black people will respond. I've seen backroom I don't know what you're trying to get with that. Okay. Come to Charlotte, we have start I don't I don't agree with uniting. I don't agree with unity because then they start when you start talking that unity, they start saying you got to accept everything. And I don't accept everything that's black. You got the black LGBTQ. You got the black liberals. You got the black... No, no, no. If you're not a black nation builder that wants to start with the black man and the black woman and the black community, and the, I'm not going to accept everything. So I don't really go with that word unity. I go with nation building. Okay. Oh, we need definitely need more men. Real men of value. Absolutely. I welcome more knowledge, bro. We need to dialogue to develop a multicultural. The fuck is that? Multicultural? Hell no. No, no, no multicultural. That sounds like diversity. No, we need the African center. Nation builders. That's all we need. That's just, just us. We have no friends. You need to go watch Dr. John Henry Clark. That speech that he gave you. It's 35 minutes long. It's magnificent. I forget the name of it, but if you just put in Dr. John Henry Clark, we have no friends, it'll come up. Yeah, MLK, MLK was a puppet. I did a whole thing on that a year ago. I don't even got to go back through that. Go to my YouTube. I did 10 reasons why MLK is not a black hero. He was not. Uh, MLK realized what he did and was doing. Started speaking out about it and got bodied for it. That's okay. Um... One thing he never did is become black specific. This is for Nat Queen Cole. Even when he so-called changed, he was still talking about poor whites, Native Americans, homosexuals. His, Motherfucker, you ain't learned. I need you to be black specific. We don't got time to be fighting for everybody else. I hate to take Tariq Nasheed's quote, but hold your own nuts. If you're not black specific, then you're not for us. So no, he never did learn. He, he, when he died, he was talking about the poor garbage truck people in the poor white garbage truck people in Tennessee. No, I ain't gonna go with that. Our powers in the black family as a union. The black man needs a black woman. The black woman needs a black man. That's right. Chelsea Lyons. I'm with you with that. One Chelsea Lyons. Absolutely right. LeBron James should have gave you the two mil he invested. Uh, yeah, but LeBron James is up there with the elite. Now nah, you can't um. He moved out there to California. <laughs> he moved out there to Kamal Harris. You can't really blame him. He's a... Uh, well, he could have. If he was ready to take that heat. We need us. MLK or Malcolm. Uh, Robert... Hey, somebody said MLK or Malcolm. Get your pencils. Dr. Khaled Muhammad. Robert F. Williams. Dr. Khaled Muhammad. Robert F. Williams. Dessaline. Yeah. Dessaline. Go to Dessaline in the Haitian Revolution. Because I don't have to pick. See, that's what I want black people to learn. You don't have to pick between what they give you. Because I'm not going to pick MLK. And I'm not going to pick Malcolm. I'll pick Dr. Khaled Muhammad. Dessaline. And I'll pick also Robert F. Williams. And I'll pick Marcus Garvey. See? We have our own power to choose. We don't have to go with Democrat or Republican. How's your so-called anti-lynching bill? No, I didn't read the anti-lynching bill. All she had to do was give us some guns. That stopped lynching right there. I'll watch it in the next side. What's the title? Uh, Dr. John Henry Clark just put in, We Have No Friends. I'm going to listen to that myself tonight. It's a beautiful, beautiful presentation. Can you start? No, I can't start a BPM in Houston, but you can if you're dedicated. Bayard Rustin was the one who heavily influenced MLK. Later pushed hard on. Yeah, but Bayard Rustin did influence MLK. But that doesn't excuse MLK. Dr. Martin knew that Bayard Rustin was having sex with white boys in the back of cars at parks. He knew it. Once you know, it's on you to go. <laughs> Once you know, it's on you to go. It's good. Do some good things y'all throwing up here. Have you ever traveled to the continent? No, I never went to Africa. 
Or do you plan to? Yes, I do plan to, but I ain't never went yet. I keep spending all my money on God. Every, when I be getting extra money and I be having a surplus, it's always a new gun I want. And so I need to take my wife on a cruise. I need to go to Africa. Bookman. Bookman? Okay. There was Bookman. I know Bookman uh, was a beast. But Mackendall. Oh, but y'all got to watch. Uh, Tariq Nasheed did the whole documentary. Go watch the whole thing he did on the Haitian Revolution. It was a good one. All right. Education opportunity start tapping big problems. Yeah. Okay, don't trust no one if they aren't black. And don't trust some of them even if they are. Okay, this was a good, uh, yeah, Bed Rushing was definitely a CIA asset. Good discussion. I love you all. Well, not all of you, because some of you are agents. <laughs> but uh, this is my analysis of C C Mackendall. Yeah, I love Mackendall. So just as this political season season unfolds, remember what I told you, and then just come back. If, uh, hey, like Dr. Clark said, I want you to check me out and see if you can prove me wrong, because I know you can't. This is an old playbook. They could have came better than this. They could have got a dark-skinned sister. Do what they could have done. If they would have got a dark-skinned sister with natural hair, with a black man, Slightly, all you had to do was quote some African centered information. They could have got all us back on the plantation because we want to be in. Not me. I'm not talking about I, I don't want to be in. I want out. But I'm saying the vast majority of us, you give us a few symbols. Do you see? They go body by all. You give us a few symbols and we'll be back on. This shit wasn't even a good play. Like, I've been to play before. This wasn't even a good play. Body by O. Tell me if you got something to say about this. I'll give you I'll give you uh five minutes for the closing remarks. But in my opinion, this wasn't even a good play. I don't even think we're gonna fall with for this. We got Tariq Nasheed, we got Umar Johnson, we got enough people with voices to make sure we don't fall for this. And me, I'm gonna tell you all the time. I don't think we're going to fall for this one. They, they didn't do a good job with this. They didn't do a good job. This is bullshit. So, uh, let me see. Let's see what, uh, let's see what Body Bible got to say. I'm done. I answered a bunch of questions. I'm going to let Body Bible close us out. Let's see. What's going on, Warrior? I just got back in Dallas. I'm, I'm laid up right now. Look here. I'm going to make this quick, man. Y'all need to stop bullshitting. Vote Mitt Romney for president. Jesse Jackson, vice president. Cut the check. <laughs> I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of you niggas, man. <laughs> hey, another thing. Stop calling people black people that don't identify as black. If they don't call themselves black, don't you be calling them black. She is not an African-American woman. She identifies as American. I never heard of husband is white. Uh, you right. Go on. So stop stop the dumb shit. If they don't want to be black, don't make them. Stop inviting everybody to the goddamn barbecue. There you go. Y'all listen to him. Now don't listen to me. Damn. <laughs> and, 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 <sighs> okay, first of all, she out there for the immigrants. Mm -hmm. Not only, yes, yes, she from Oakland, but how many Negroes has she locked up in Oakland? Oh, yeah. When they tried to cut back on the prison system, no, she was against that. She want more prisons because she want to make some more money. You get her then. So, go get me a gun. Damn. I'm in danger with all this going on. She ain't black. You ain't black until you say you black. I don't give a damn who your daddy is. Your daddy was a coon. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Your mama, well, she wasn't black or she's some kind of Indian or whatever, but she <laughs> identified as white. So you identify as white. You know, I don't care if you dark as me. If you don't identify as black, you're cool. You're white. Mm -hmm. Give it to them, now. Because they're going to think it was, you, gonna think it was just, it's just not just me. Anything else? No, it's, it's, it's not just you. Let me think who else. Who mm -hmm. else out there? Mm -hmm. 
say this. I say this just another. I, I say they run the same play twice. That's what I say. They run the Barack. They say Barack Obama worked. It didn't work when we ran Hillary. Let's go back to the Obama playbook. We'll get the blacks back on the well, plantation. The Obama playbook didn't work too well, and let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. They got over with Obama being half Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> his, his wife is all the way black. She a beautiful. His wife is black. She got nice hips too. Yeah, yeah, she it is what it is. She fine. Mm -hmm. And you got nigga kids in the, in the White House. Per black, so, per black. Mm -hmm. So, so you smell cocoa butter, shea butter, hot combs. You know what I'm saying? All through the White House, and that was a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. But no, if not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not vote. I will vote for Mitt Romney before I vote for her. It is, I'm, I'm telling you what's gonna happen. I'm telling you where my vote going. Is Mitt Romney gonna run? I don't know. At least he wouldn't have messed the money up. <laughs> At least he would have had the money right. <laughs> hey, all I want to know is, I thought at least Trump would be pro gun. They done banned bump stocks. They done put in things where they can seize our guns down here in Florida. Did Trump trick us? He ain't even pro gun. Trump would technically, technically. You ready, Sean? Yeah. Here we go. Here's the truth. Trump did tell the NRA, if you vote me in, I will be pro gun. They voted him in. Trump was pro gun for exactly 90 days. Mm. So he technically, he didn't lie. <laughs> He didn't lie. <laughs> hey, body, body, hey, he lied, man. No, no, wait, no, no. Watch this, watch this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> he lied. Here's the difference between the truth and a truthful idea. Uh -huh. Okay? Okay. Truthful idea. Because he, now I'm going to get on you. You didn't tell the whole truth. <laughs>